Hello friends, I am Dr. Avinash Naik. In this video, we are going to talk about the role of assessors or evaluators in the evaluation or assessment of assignment responses. As we all of us know, in the distance learning system, the distance teachers or the distance tutors have a very important role. A distance teacher should study the self learning materials thoroughly before taking up the responsibility of evaluation of assignment responses. The distance teacher should compensate for the weaknesses of the assignment, the units or the lessons and give appropriate grades and marks to the learners. He should try to break the isolation of the distance learners. He should try to sustain the motivation of the distance learners. He should try to evaluate and grade the assignment responses appropriately. He should try to help the learners in improving and advancing their studies with the help of purposeful comments. Now let us discuss how the distance teachers or distance tutors evaluate the assignment responses. While evaluating the assignment responses, the distance teachers make use of the discriminating factors. These discriminating factors, they help the distance teachers in discriminating between a weak response and a good response a good response and a better response when they are favorable. They also affect the evaluation process when the discrimination factors are not favorable. Now let us talk about the discriminating factors one after another. First of all, assessor's perception of the unit. The assessor should have a thorough understanding of the relevant unit or units and try to discover the course writer's intention to convey through the units and they should keep their personal reactions, personal observations away while giving comments to the assignment responses. They should see that what the learners are expected to achieve and judge the learners achievements and learners performance accordingly. The next discriminating factor is the assessor's perception of the assignment. Now the next point is how the assessor should perceive the assignment. The assessor should understand the assignment questions in a proper way. If they don't interpret and understand the assignment questions the right way, it can cause errors in assessment. This problem can be avoided by giving guidelines, clear-cut guidelines by the course writers, yeah, the course team, so that and the assessors or evaluators are properly trained before they are given the responsibility of evaluating the assignments. A better understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of the assignment responses will help the evaluators evaluate the assignments in a proper manner. Now the, less, the next factor, the next discriminating factor that affects evaluation is the tendency of being lenient or strict. There are some assessors and evaluators who tend to be very lenient and there are some assessor evaluators who tend to be very strict. They are said to be like this when they deviate from the norm, deviate from the standard which is expected of the learners. People who are lenient while evaluating one assignment response may be very strict while evaluating another assignment response of a different course. So we can say that no one is absolutely lenient or strict. Now the next factor that we must remember that is a discriminating factor that is assessor's ideal response. Every assessor or the evaluator should have an ideal response. The course writing team, the people who prepare the course materials while preparing the assignments they should, they should prepare an ideal response for the evaluators so that they will use it as a norm or standard and they don't deviate from the norm. This will not only help the people who are not initiated or introduced into the system, it will also help the experienced and perfect teachers to give their own inputs so that the assessment is authentic and judicious. And the teachers can also be trained, teachers can also be trained to prepare ideal assignment responses before they start evaluating the assignment responses. Now the next one is a very important factor that is the assessor's attention span. 
efficient evaluators or assessors and inefficient assessors evaluators they are discriminated they are distinguished in the in terms of only the attention span attention span refers to the ability of a teacher ability of an assessor to objectively evaluate an assignment response over a period of time there are some evaluators who can evaluate two to three assignment responses in one go and there are some evaluators who can evaluate four to five responses at one go research shows that the attention span span of the teachers reduces as they continue as they continue crossing the attention span if the attention span of a teacher is 4 or 5 then the after evaluating the five assignment responses the teacher will be the teacher will not be able to evaluate the next assignment properly and the evaluation will be affected so the teacher should be cautioned or warned against hurrying ya making hurried evaluation or casual evaluation because if they do it that will cause erratic evaluation and this will also demotivate the learners now the next important thing that the assessors or yeah, the evaluators should do that is record keeping they must keep proper record of the assignment responses that they evaluate that helps them give personalized comments related to the progress and performance of the learners on the one end and they it also helps them avoid avoid duplicate Yeah, unnecessary duplicate work, and most importantly, it also helps them maintain an account of the payments that they have received for evaluation of assignment responses. The next one is the turn around time. The next one is the turn around time. There should be a fixed time. There should be a fixed time or time frame for the turn around time. That is the time taken by a study center to receive, to process, to evaluate the assignments and send. or give it back to the learners after they are evaluated generally the turn around time is 6 to 8 weeks the evaluated assignments should be given to the learners well in advance before the term and examinations because they are able to go through the assignment responses and improve their performance and prepare for the examinations appropriately now let us talk about some ethical principles that the teachers should keep in mind while evaluating the assignment responses they should return the assignment to the learners the teacher should return the assignment uh, response to the learners after they are evaluated in time then they should avoid harsh rude personal comments while commenting on the assignment responses they should be unbiased and impartial in the assessment of the assignment responses they should give appropriate supportive and constructive feedback to the learners and they should give feedback on all aspects of evaluation and assignment responses and they should also motivate the learners to apply their knowledge in real life situations and new perspectives assessment they should try to make the assessment objective and impartial and those people who are competent those who are acquainted with the open and distance learning system they should be given the responsibility of evaluating the assignments and evaluators should be careful and responsible and whatever grades they give to the learners they should match with their answers and they should match with the contents in the syllabus evaluators should maintain a balance between being very strict or very lenient a learner should not be penalized for any fault of the designers of the assignments the grades and marks which are given to the learners they should be shared with the parents and the guardians unless it is otherwise demanded focus of a good education system should be on the real assessment of the learners it means that the assessment of the learners should be properly done the grades and marks given to the learners should reflect their actual performance in the assignments not on the basis of other factors like their effort ability neatness or attitudes anything like that the assessors or the evaluators have a very important role in evaluation of assignments so we all while evaluating the assignments we should be very careful in such assignments thank you very much